What in Bob Ross's Afro is this? Welcome to the Art Project. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I threw a bunch of coffee on a piece of, uh, on a couple pages in my sketchbook and uh, kind of looked into it like you would look into the clouds to see what you could see. And this is pretty much what I saw. Um, the outline of a guy just kind of standing there, shoulders up looking kind of weirdly at something across the page. And uh, I just saw that out of, you know, just kind of looking at it. There was no face or anything. I just kind of saw the shoulders puffed up. And then I looked at another part, and I kind of saw a little bit of the forehead or hair and a nose. And then I just kind of brought the rest of it out. So uh, I've done this a couple of times before. It's kind of a fun little process. Just um, throw some watercolor on a piece of paper, let it run and wash and smear. Uh, sometimes I even close the book up so I get a mirror image of the watercolor on one side and as on the other. Um, it's kind of difficult if you get the watercolor too dark. So I try and keep it pretty watery and translucent. And then I... Uh, I look around for images in the in the picture, and then I start bringing them out. Um, one of the things that I notice on this is that the oils from the coffee kind of sealed it up real good and made it hard for me to draw with uh, an artist pen on this. I tried using a, a Sharpie and I tried using a Pigma Micron, uh, but neither one of those uh, worked too well. Eventually, I started using a um, pen and ink little um, nib holder uh, and some noodlers ink and then I also used a paintbrush uh, to color in some of the details to uh, finalize it a little bit to bring out some of the, the image uh, when all was said and done I did not follow you know everything that was coffee I just used the coffee to kind of show me a little bit of something and then I just added to it and made it more you know uh, not really realistic, but more obvious what the images were. Uh, so when you do this, uh, don't look for an entire image. If you do this, don't look for an entire image. Uh, if you don't see, uh, you, what you're going to do is you're going to see just a little bit of something. I usually look for faces because that makes a more interesting work of art, but, uh, you can really look for just about anything, a dragon, a bird, um, flowers and so on uh, and when you find it you just draw a little bit of what was there in this particular instance the only thing that I saw really was the person on the left and the person on the right all of the flowers that I drew and the smoke that I drew that was all added kind of after the fact just to fill the page more and make it a little bit more interesting so uh, again the flowers weren't really there uh, the daylilies were just something that I've drawn in my sketchbooks before from observation, and I tried to draw them again um, from the best I could remember them. I don't think they turned out really, really good uh, as far as, you know, looking like daylilies. They're a little bit awkward, but overall, uh, it was fun, and I just needed to work in my sketchbook and not uh, do anything serious, you know, not... Um, not grade papers, not uh, make examples for uh, students to to go by. I just needed to draw, and so I did this little this little thing. So I highly recommend trying them out. It's really fun to kind of look for the images, and when you're done, maybe there's kind of a little story there. Uh, this guy kind of looks like he's mad at that girl about something, and she is just thinking about flowers and and beauty but anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share this with some of your friends on your favorite social media platform go make some art